Welcome to our YouTube channel where we discuss important topics related to senior health and well-being. We delve into a variety of subjects offering insights and advice to help you navigate the golden years with confidence and grace. Our goal is to provide you with the knowledge you need to make informed decisions about your health, your lifestyle, and your future. Now, let's talk about a subject that's of particular importance to our older friends and family members out there. It's a topic that doesn't always get the attention it deserves, but it's a critical one. We're talking about falls and injuries, a risk that increases significantly as we age. Falls can happen to anyone, but they're especially common and dangerous for seniors. Understanding why falls occur and how they can be prevented is crucial for maintaining health and independence in later years. Today, we're focusing on a critical issue that affects many seniors, falls and injuries. Uh, seniors are more vulnerable to falls due to factors such as reduced balance, muscle strength and vision. As we age, these physical changes can become more pronounced, making everyday activities a potential risk for falls and injuries. Let's delve deeper into these risk factors. Firstly, let's talk about balance. It's like a dance between our inner ear, eyes and muscles. As we age, changes in any one of these three can disrupt this intricate dance, leading to a decline in balance. We might not notice this at first, but it's there, subtly increasing the risk of falls. Next, we have muscle strength. As we age, our muscles naturally lose some of their strength and flexibility. This decline can affect our ability to respond quickly to prevent a fall if we trip or stumble. It's like having a safety net with a few holes in it. Then there's vision. Our eyes are our guide, helping us navigate the world. But as we age, our vision can deteriorate, making it harder to see obstacles, judge distances, and adjust to changes in light. This can make even familiar environments a potential risk for falls. We also can't ignore the role of chronic health conditions. Conditions like arthritis, uh, diabetes, heart disease, and even some medications can affect our balance, strength, and coordination, making us more prone to falls. Think of it as a snowball effect, where one health issue can lead to another. Lastly, let's not forget about the environment around us. Poor lighting, clutter, and uneven surfaces can all increase the risk of falls. It's not just about our, our physical changes, but also about how these changes interact with our surroundings. Hip fractures and head injuries are among the most common and concerning outcomes of falls for seniors. These injuries can be life altering, leading to a loss of independence and a decline in overall health. Understanding these risk factors is the first step towards prevention and that's what we will discuss in our next segment. And um, falls and injuries can have significant consequences for seniors leading to hospitalization, surgery, and long recovery periods. The impact of a fall extends far beyond the immediate aftermath. It can herald a significant decline in mobility, independence, and overall health. When a senior falls, the risk of fractures is high, especially in the hip, wrist, or spine hip fractures are particularly debilitating often necessitating surgery followed by extensive rehabilitation even after recovery many seniors may not regain their previous level of mobility leading to a reduction in independence a hip fracture can also bring about other health complications such as blood clots or pneumonia further complicating the recovery process Wrist and spinal fractures also pose serious health risks. Uh, a broken wrist can impair a senior's ability to perform daily tasks, while spinal fractures can lead to chronic pain and a decreased quality of life. In addition to fractures, falls can result in severe head injuries. These can range from 
concussions to traumatic brain injuries. A head injury can lead to cognitive impairments affecting memory, concentration, and other mental functions. Sometimes these changes may be temporary, but in severe cases, they can be permanent. Moreover, falls can lead to psychological consequences. The fear of falling again can make seniors limit their activities and social interactions, leading to isolation, depression, and a decreased quality of life. This fear can create a vicious cycle as reduced activity can lead to further physical decline, increasing the risk of future falls. In sum, the consequences of falls for seniors are multifaceted, affecting their physical health, mental well-being, and overall quality of life. They underscore the importance of fall prevention and the need for effective strategies to manage the risk. Remember, each fall is one too many. It's not just about the physical pain, but also the loss of confidence and independence that can follow. Head injuries from falls can be particularly dangerous, affecting um, cognitive function and overall well-being. Let's all strive to create safer environments for seniors, reducing the risk of falls and the significant consequences they entail. The good news is that falls and injuries can be prevented with proactive measures. As we journey together through this topic, let's explore how we can reduce the risk of these incidents for our seniors. First, let's talk about creating a safe living environment. Picture a home where everything is within easy reach, where the floors are free of clutter, and where light illuminates every corner. This isn't just a comfortable living space, it's a haven that minimizes the risk of falls. Simple adjustments like removing rugs and cords that could trip up an individual, installing grab bars in the bathroom, and improving lighting, especially in stairways and hallways, can make a world of difference. And let's not forget the importance of proper footwear. Slippers might be cozy, but they can also be a tripping hazard. Shoes with non-slip soles are a much safer option. Next, let's consider the power of strength and balance exercises. Regular physical activity isn't just good for the heart, it's also essential for maintaining muscle strength and coordination. Activities like walking, yoga, and Tai Chi can enhance balance, making falls less likely. Of course, it's important to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new exercise regimen. Lastly, we turn to mobility aids, canes, walkers, and wheelchairs aren't just for getting from point A to point B. They, they're tools that provide support and stability. Using these aids can make movement safer for seniors, especially those with balance issues. And there you have it, these three strategies, creating a safe living environment, participating in strength and balance exercises, and using mobility aids form a robust approach to preventing falls and injuries among our seniors. By embracing these strategies, we can help safeguard the health and independence of our older loved ones and ensure they continue to enjoy their golden years. Creating a safe living environment, participating in strength and balance exercises, and using mobility aids can help reduce the risk of falls for seniors. Uh, removing tripping hazards, installing grab bars, improving lighting, and ensuring proper footwear are simple yet effective ways to prevent falls at home. Let's delve deeper. Tripping hazards can include anything from loose rugs to cluttered pathways. A neat, tidy, and well-arranged home can significantly decrease the risk of falls. Grab bars, especially in slippery areas like the bathroom or near stairs, offer additional support. Improving lighting is another crucial step. Whether it's illuminating a dark corner or adding night lights for better visibility during late night walks, good lighting can prevent missteps. Lastly, 
Wearing proper footwear with non-slip soles can provide better grip and balance. Slippers might feel comfortable, but they often lack the necessary support and can lead to slips and falls. These modifications, while they may seem small, can make a significant difference in reducing the risk of accidents. They can transform a living space into a safer environment for seniors, fostering a sense of security and independence. Uh, to staying active and engaging in strength and balance exercises can improve muscle strength and coordination, reducing the likelihood of falls. Physical activity keeps our bodies flexible and agile, making us less prone to accidents. It's like keeping the engine of a car in good shape. The better the maintenance, the smoother the ride. Let's not forget the role of mobility aids. Canes, walkers, and wheelchairs aren't just symbols of aging. They're tools for independence. A cane can give you the confidence to walk to the park. A walker can ensure stability while you're doing your grocery shopping. A wheelchair can provide freedom to explore without the fear of falling. They're not constraints. They're keys that unlock a safer and more comfortable life. Remember, it's not about avoiding age, but about embracing it with grace. Using mobility aids such as canes, walkers, and wheelchairs can provide added support and stability for seniors. Uh, in conclusion, a falls and injuries are a higher risk for seniors, but with awareness and preventive measures, these risks can be minimized. We've discussed how age-related changes like reduced balance, muscle strength, and vision can increase the likelihood of accidents. We've also highlighted the serious consequences of falls, including hip fractures and head injuries, which can lead to hospitalization, surgery, and long recovery periods. However, remember, it's not all doom and gloom. We've also explored various preventive strategies to help reduce the risk of falls by creating a safer living environment, removing hazards, improving lighting, and ensuring appropriate footwear, we can make our homes safer. Engaging in strength and balance exercises, staying active, and using mobility aids can also provide added support and stability. By taking proactive steps to create a safe environment, stay active and use mobility aids, seniors can protect themselves from the dangers of falls and injuries.